Hey everybody, how are you guys? Um, this is Bandit Stephanie, or Stephanie, and today is Wednesday, August 15th, 2012. Um, <clears throat> coming to you guys with my week 74 post-op lap band update, as well as my four-week post-op um, lower body lift 360. So, um, I have a lot of new subscribers, so I will start from the very beginning. For anybody who's new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching, as always. Um, so, um, I am a lap band patient. I was banded on March 15th, 2011. Um, my highest weight was 313.6 pounds. I hit my goal of 145 pounds on Valentine's Day of this year, 2012. Um... Then from there, set a new maintenance range for myself um, of 135 to 140. Then it went from 130 to 135, so it's kind of been all over the place. Um, I also had a brachioplasty um, arm lift and breast lift and augmentation in March of this year, um, followed by a 360 lower body lift on July 18th of this year. So today is exactly four weeks out from that. Um, so a lot has happened in the last year and a half. Um, uh, currently I am sitting in my new maintenance range of 125 to 130. I knew I would change that once I got my 360 lower body lift since I knew they would be removing um, some skin and that I would have a new range to play with. So I think I'm finally at my lifetime maintenance range of what I'm going to call it, of 125 to 130. So um, this morning I was 127.8 um, or 127.9, something along those lines. Um, I know I'm still kind of healing. I had gotten as low as 122 and um, that did not look good on me. Um, before my lower body lift, I was about 125 and then they removed five and a half pounds of skin. So, um, I've put on a, a few pounds and, um, I tell everybody it's weird because, so before my 360, my size twos were very tight in my waist and now, um, they were tight in my waist at 125 pounds and now being almost 128 pounds, Size zeros are almost a little bit big on me, so it's interesting. I'm really not fretting the scale whatsoever, um, but as far as my 360 healing goes, I am amazed. I feel as good as I do four weeks out. I returned back to work after 10 days. I had um, drains still in me when I went back to work, so that was a little interesting to kind of hide. But um, sitting was quite difficult for the first few days and not being able to take pain meds. But um, I can say now, four weeks post-op, I feel like a million bucks. Um, I have a little bit of swelling still, I'm sure. And I do get a little bit sore from time to time. But, um, you know, all in all, I feel great. I am still wearing a shaper, which I will probably have to wear for about, mm, I think you said, eight to ten weeks. I'll go see my surgeon tomorrow for a follow-up visit, but, um, you know, I feel, I feel good. I, I finally feel like this is what I needed to kind of complete, um, my journey as far as my body image goes. I feel thin finally, um, which is a really great feeling. I know I've previously stated that I had plans to do an inner thigh lift and at this point, um, for a few reasons, I'm not sure that I will. Um, a couple of the reasons are, um, with clothes on, I'm not self-conscious about my thighs at all. Uh, they fit in size zero pants, and those are baggy, so for me, it's not like I feel unproportionate at all. Um, also, I've sank a lot of money into plastic surgery. Um, for those of you who have asked... All my plastic surgery has been considered cosmetic, therefore it has all been out-of-pocket costs. And it's not cheap. Um, I did not go to Mexico, so uh, I got it done in kind of a ritzy area of my neighborhood. So, um, yeah, it's not cheap. And also just the time. Um, I understand from my surgeon that the inner thigh lift is 
quite a bit of downtime and with me starting school in a couple weeks here it's, it would kind of be hard to find the time to get this done so <clears throat> as of right now um, that's on hold um, very happy with how I'm looking very happy with how I'm feeling um, excited to get back into exercising my next kind of goal for myself is to start toning um, I like to put on a couple pounds of muscle whether that be in my arms my legs um, some abs would be pretty cool so that's my next challenge for myself is starting to tone um, when you get comfortable in maintenance and you stop getting those those comments and you stop seeing your clothes size drop or you you keep you know you don't notice the non-scale victories as much as you used to I think it'd be easy to get into a funk and and I'm not there yet but of course I have my days like everybody does but um, next challenge to myself is to start toning. So I'm um, looking forward to that. When I do get the okay to exercise, um, I will be hitting the gym. <coughs> because it's sad to say, and um, I'm embarrassed to admit, I've been to the gym once since March. One time since my first plastic surgery. Um, I do a lot of walking outside, which is great. But I know that I will have to get into a good gym routine, especially when um, it starts getting a little bit colder here in Michigan. So <clears throat> that's kind of um, my update for 74 weeks post-op lap band as well as 4 weeks post-op lower body 360 lift. Um, I apologize, it's been a little while since I've checked in. I, <clears throat> I know you guys um, know I'm working two jobs Um mostly to pay for my plastic surgery and um, I'm actually picking up a third job that will probably start this weekend as well as trying to move out. Um, I will be moving into a new place in October as well as school starting in three weeks. So um, onwards my motto as you guys know busy equals skinny. So true. Um, but I'm going to see if I can kind of try to show you guys my stomach here. Um, <clears throat> so that kind of sitting in my car right now. But, um, you know, here's my stomach. I have a shaper on. Um, but this is four weeks post-op uh, lower body lift. My muffin top is gone, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see what the results all kind of... Uh, turn out as as the time goes on because I know with my brachioplasty with my breasts <clears throat> as time went on I just loved them both more so I know the same will be true for my stomach so thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna end this now let me know if you guys have any questions and as always thank you guys so much for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for your support I love you guys all so um till next time have a good one guys thanks bye